But yesterday, I went to this subway, and I walked in with no mask. I was in line, and I was getting, as I was getting closer to the front, these guys uh, decided to tell me, Sir, do you have a mask? No. Uh, I need you to leave. We, we can't serve you. And I was like, wow, that's pretty rude, you know. Like, not a, sir, do you have a medical condition? Or, uh, sir, I'm going to have to politely ask you to leave. Or, uh, sir, I don't want to get shut down. But they were very confrontational. So I, I just said no. And I uh, approached the counter when it was my turn. And these guys uh, continued to, to tell me, we're not serving you. You need to leave. And... And I was like, I'm not a second class citizen and I insist that you serve me. Like, you guys are being unreasonable here. And and uh, they just got attitude, attitude, just trying to talk over me, didn't, didn't want to hear anything I had to say. Uh, just just rude, right in front of all these other guests. Just just being very confrontational. And and so, and so I, uh, I actually, uh, I actually stayed in line and, and I insisted that they serve me and at one point the uh, I don't know if he was the manager or just one of the employees in there removed his shirt and starts parading around yelling and screaming and cursing and just going freaking crazy just lost his mind in there and and I, I'm just like dumbfounded I was like okay you're mad at me for not wearing a mask yeah, you're naked with the food back there. What the hell's going on, buddy? Like, why, why do you think this is okay? Like, are you on drugs? Oh, then he lost it. Oh, how dare you accuse me of being on drugs? Oh, I do say I'm on drugs. Oh my God, this guy just went insane. Ballistic and bananas just when I mentioned drugs, that he could possibly be on, be on drugs. The man's parading around with no shirt on. And he thinks it's unreasonable that I'm accusing him of possibly being on drugs ridiculous and all this over the mask hysteria but you know it's not even fair it's not even fair that they put these kids out there you know they call their employees here sandwich artists and so they take these sandwich artists and they ordain them as mask police and they think that these kids are going to have the wit and wherewithal to deal with customers like me military veterans informed citizens who know that the pandemic is fake and we're gonna walk in there and we're gonna stand our ground and it, and these guys these kids just do not have the wherewithal to to win a an intellectual battle of wits so the kid imploded I feel bad for him but at the same time you know if you're gonna be the mass police then you're gonna have to do it professionally you can't just scream at customers curse them out uh, pull your shirt off and and threaten that you're gonna you're gonna fight them. I mean, this guy was saying, "Oh, you're lucky I'm on the clock." I'm like, "You're not gonna be on the clock after this airs. Like, you're all over your own security camera footage. You don't think I'm gonna report this to your corporate office that you removed your shirt and you're parading around the food as a naked man, uh, yelling and screaming at customers? Like, you think you're gonna keep your job after this? Like, we could meet outside, bro." Anyway, uh, it was a crazy situation here yesterday in Cleveland, Ohio, West 22nd. Uh, actually, Broadview at West 22nd. This subway, uh, just don't even go in there because I'm pretty sure they're on drugs. And uh, otherwise, that guy wouldn't have exploded when I asked him if he was on drugs. I didn't even say, you're on drugs. I said, are you on drugs, sir? Oh, my God, he lost his mind. So... Uh, I'm just gonna guess that yeah, he's probably on drugs Anyway, uh, stay away from this subway uh, Stay away from subway altogether if they're gonna be uh, Doing this mass police mask hysteria nonsense See you guys later